Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on painting of cubes. It says that three different faces of a cube are painted in three different colors, crimson, olive and azure. So those of who, you who do not know what these colors are, crimson is a type of red, olive is a type of green and azure is a type of blue. Now this cube is cut into 1331 smaller cubes. Then we have to answer these four questions that minimum number of cubes that have one face painted, uh, maximum number of cubes that have exactly one face painted and minimum and maximum for no face painted. Now this question is slightly different from the conventional cube question because in that we have standard formula and uh, like we know that all faces are painted. Now in this case we are given that three faces painted, three different faces and in three different colors, so one of each, okay. Now, we have to visualize that how can these three uh, faces be painted, what will be the positioning of the three faces that are painted, okay. So, let us visualize this through a diagram. So, if we see this diagram, it shows us that these are the three faces, okay, the, we will be able to see only the three faces. So, one possibility is that we have crimson, olive and azure three adjacent faces painted in the uh, painted by three different colors one possibility is this second possibility is let us say if i paint this side crimson this side azure now no matter which side i paint uh, the remaining side so that will be the common side between these two okay so that will be a link like if we uh, if we paint this side olive or if we paint this side olive or if we paint this side olive or if we paint all in this side. So there will be a common border, right? Common border between these two and a common border between these two. No matter which side if you paint. If you paint this top side, so this will be the common borders. Okay, if you paint this side, common borders, bottom side with the common borders. So that is basically we get two possible combinations in which we can paint these cubes. So one will give us the maximum values, the other will give us the minimum values. Okay, so now let us solve these questions. So first question is, what is the minimum number of cubes that have exactly one face painted? Okay, now exactly one face painted. Uh, uh, now what, what all cubes, now if we talk about this cube, what all cubes will have exactly one face painted? Now first of all, each of these faces, since it is cut into 1, 3, 3, 1 smaller cubes, that is 11 into 11 into 11, so each face will look like a 11 by 11 matrix, 11 clause 11 matrix on each of these three faces, isn't it? Now if you look at this face, let us take any face. Now this is the border case and this is also a border case. This is a border, this is a border. Now all these border cubes have at least two faces painted. side be painted hai, side be painted hai. Theke, to ye border ho jayega. Okay. Similarly, this side also there is a border. Okay, so this side is painted and this side is also painted. We consider this border. So this side is also painted and this side is also painted. Similarly, if we consider border here, then this side is painted and this side is also painted. If we consider this border, this side is painted and this side is also painted. So basically, if we see, now we won't consider the border this side because this is a non-painted side. We are considering that these three are the painted sides. This is an empty side. So we won't exclude this border. Now if we see this structure now, earlier it was 11 into 11. Now it is left with 10 into 10 because we removed one from this dimension, one from this dimension. Similarly, this cubes now remains as 10 into 10. And also this square, if we see this, this grid, it is 10 into 10. So total of 100 plus 100 plus 100. So there are 300 cubes that have exactly one face painted. Okay. Now this is the minimum number. Okay. Now let us solve for the maximum. So if we solve for the maximum, what will happen in this case is, now this is the common border thing. And there will be a common border this side as well. Okay, a common border this side, a common border this side. Now, if we look at this space, this space was 11 into 11. Now, one side has been removed. Why are we not removing this border now? 
in the previous case this side was painted this is a non painted side okay this side is not painted so we will include this border because all cubes on this border have only one face painted this is the only face painted this is not painted okay so this was 11 into 11 and we have removed one column so this remains as 11 into 10 okay similarly if you look the back side this side we will get similar thing one border wala column excluded remaining will be 11 into 10 okay now let us talk about this portion this face it was 11 into 11 we have removed one column, we have removed two columns. So we are left with nine columns and the rows are 11 because from here till here we have, we are counting all these cubes. So 11 into 9. So basically the total comes out as, this is 220 plus 99, 319. So either 300 uh, cubes will have exactly one face painted or we will have 319 cubes as exactly one face painted. Okay, so this is the answer to the first two questions. Now let us solve the other two questions also on similar things. Okay, now what is the maximum number of cubes that have no face painted on all? And what is the minimum number and what is the maximum number of cubes that have no face painted at all? Okay, now if we see this cube, okay, if we consider this cube, now we visualize it like this. Suppose it is the covering. Okay, suppose this is a cube and this is a covering on the cube. So the top layer is painted. If we remove the top layer, all the layers are exposed, right? They, they do not have any paint. So only this layer is painted. If I remove this layer, nothing be beneath this is painted. This layer is painted. So if we remove this layer, right? No other layers are painted on this side. If we remove this layer, no other layer is painted on this side. So basically what we are doing is we are removing three layers okay and uh, that three layers from uh, like once one layer from this side one layer from this side one layer so if if we consider that this height was 11 so there were 11 layers and i removed the top layer so we are left with 10 layers okay uh, this had 11 layers and we removed this layer outside so we are left with 10 layers and if we consider this dimension there were 11 layers from here to here and if I remove this layer, we are left with 10 layers. So technically 10 into 10 into 10, that is 1000. Okay. Now, other way to think is, like if you can visualize, if you can visualize this removing of top layer, fine. If you cannot visualize, let us count it manually also. Right. We can count it manually. So if we see this, now what we will do in this scenario is, now 121 cubes, they have one face painted. Okay, now we have already considered this side. Okay, so we will not include this. So this will be 11 into 10. Okay, and in this case, it will be uh, 1 removed, 1 removed to 10 into 10. So that is 121 plus 110 plus 100. That is 331 cubes. These 331 cubes have painted face. Okay, so total out of 1331. If we subtract 331, we get the total as 1000. So in either case, the total comes as 1000. Okay. So this is the solution to this question. Now this can be maximum or minimum. Okay. So let us find out that what, what will be the, what will be the maximum number, what will be the minimum number. Now if we consider this scenario, okay, so we will find out that how many cubes have this thing. Painted cubes. Let us find out the painted cubes and we will remove those painted cubes. We will get the number of non painted cubes. So, in this case, we have 11 into 11, that is 121 that are painted. Now, we will exclude this part. Okay. So, uh, likewise, we on this side also think of this like there is a block here, right? And this, that was like 11 into 11, we removed it. Similarly, this side also we have a block of 11 into 11, we will remove it because those are the painted cubes. Now we have removed this part and we have removed this part also. Okay. Now if you have removed these two parts, we are left with this layer. Okay. Now this layer was 11 into 11, one, one of the columns is removed when we remove this part and one of the columns is removed 
when we remove this part completely. So we are left with 11 into 9. So 11, 11 is 121 plus 121 plus 99. So we are removing basically 341 cubes. Okay, 341 cubes have paint on them. Okay, and remaining will not have any paint of them. So uh, 1331 minus 341 that turns out to be 990. So minimum we will get as 990 and maximum we will get as 1000. Okay, so these are the answers to the four questions. Okay, so uh, finding that how many uh, cubes have uh, exactly one face painted, how many cubes have no face painted, all right. Now, I have a question for you, okay. N denotes the number of small cubes that have one face painted, azure and one face painted, olive and no other face painted. So, you have to tell how many values are possible for N and what is the sum of all the possible values of N. So try these questions and answer in the comments of this video. I hope you loved solving this set and if you uh, really loved the solution, please do like the video.